regional oli This is the frontal chest ringenogram of a hypertensive patient who suddenly developed tachypnea. Note uh, that uh, the heart is enlarged at the expense of the left ventricle and observe an area of hyperlucency in the middle third of the right lung with a slight proximal enlargement uh, of the uh, pulmonary artery. The top right and the top uh, bottom uh, image uh, is from a pulmonary angiogram. There were elevated pressures in the pulmonary uh, artery. Note a saddle thrombus uh, in the bifurcation of the right uh, pulmonary artery. This explains uh, the uh, pulmonary oligemia. The bottom left uh, image uh, is uh, from a retrograde inferior vena cablegram. Note the uh, reflux uh, of contrast into iliac veins, uh, but the hypogastric vein, particularly on the right side, had a beaded appearance. Uh, in this way, we established the, the origin uh, of the pulmonary embolus. This lady had had uh, a pelvic uh, operation uh, some uh, weeks uh, before and she developed a pelvic vein uh, thrombophlebitis and uh, the pulmonary emboli then arose uh, from pelvic veins uh, not from veins of the lower extremities when we finish our angiographic examination of the pulmonary circulation we may drop the catheter uh, to the level of the inferior vena cava make a retrograde injection and if the cava is uh, free of thrombi, we can then advance the catheter to the bifurcation of the cava and do a retrograde injection. This is when we suspect that, uh, that the source of the emboli may not come from the veins of the lower extremities. Pulmonary emboli can lose the central pulmonary arteries uh, as well as the peripheral arteries. To your left is a pulmonary angiogram of a patient who had uh, regional oligemia that affected uh, the lower part of the right uh, lung. Note uh, that we are in the venous uh, phase uh, of the pulmonary artery injection. We still see uh, persistent uh, arterial filling in the middle lobe uh, and in a segmental portion of the right uh, lower lobe. This is indicative of a shower of emboli that occurred uh, at that level. Small vessels uh, the size uh, of uh, an arteriole uh, uh, or slightly larger. Remember that an arteriole uh, is defined as a vessel uh, that is uh, 0.1 millimeter in diameter or 100 micra in diameter. This is the usual site uh, for emboli to occlude uh, and therefore most often we are not going to see in a pulmonary angiogram the site of obstruction. But this patient had uh, a large size uh, artery that was occluded and that explained the regional oligemia. This angiogram shows asymmetric pulmonary blood flow uh, and we note uh, the opacification of the right upper lobe pulmonary veins uh, uh, simultaneous to the opacification of the pulmonary arteries that could not drain because of the presence of a shower of emboli. To your right uh, uh, is a selective bronchial arteriogram of the same patient. Note a slight increase uh, in the number and size of the bronchial arteries, but they appear quite small and only seen in the uh, medial aspect of the lung. They are incapable of uh, maintaining a structural and functional integrity of uh, the site where a large uh, a pulmonary arterial branch was occluded. The reason infarction did not develop uh, is not because of the collateral circulation, but because uh, that uh, right lung remained in normal ventilation.